So to ask the Scottish Government what its position is on whether it's appropriate for the Chief Executive of Circularity Scotland to be paid a reported annual salary of £300,000. Minister Lorna Slater. Circularity Scotland is a not-for-profit company delivered and funded by industry in line with the polluter pays principle. This structure is based on successful schemes seen elsewhere in Europe and was approved by the Scottish Parliament in 2020. Circularity Scotland is therefore separate from government and we have no role in the recruitment of staff or their pay levels. Decisions on pay are made by the Circularity Scotland Board, which is made up of members who range with a range of experience from across a range of sectors, which is appropriate for a private company that is delivering an industry-led scheme. Colin Smith. The Minister said the scheme is business-led, but let's be clear, it's being big business-led at the moment. Only big business can become individual members of Circularity Scotland, and only big business, it would appear, can get contracts such as BIFA for collecting bottles. Let's also be clear, it was the Minister who approved Circularity Scotland, not businesses, but the Minister who made that decision. So could I ask the Minister, was she aware of the proposed likely wage structure for the company's senior executive when she appointed Circularity Scotland? Scotland as the scheme administrator? If not, when did she become aware of the plan to pay such excessive salaries? And has she at any time expressed concern about those salaries? Because it does seem this monopoly has a licence from the Minister to print money, not for the benefit of producers, but for the benefit of their own bosses. Minister. Uh, Circular Scotland is a private, not-for-profit uh, company, and it would be inappropriate for ministers to interfere with or comment on the matters of a. It's a private. Thank you. Company. We'll hear the minister. Uh, members of Circularity Scotland do include the Scottish Grocers Federation, the Scottish Beer and Pub Association, the Society of Independent Brewers, the National Federation of Retail Aid News Agents, and the Association of Convenience Stores. These are the bodies that make up Circularity Scotland, and small businesses are powerfully represented. Colin Smith. So, no, I have to say the Minister needs to learn to answer the questions that she's asked. I asked the Minister, was she aware? of these wage structures when she appointed Circularity Scotland um, as the administrator? When did she become aware and has she at any time expressed concern? Given the importance of ensuring value for money for small producers are deeply worried about the cost of this scheme, surely the Minister should have asked for this information before she made that decision, because the regulations are very clear that this Parliament agreed. Applications for approval as a scheme administrator must be made to Scottish Ministers and must include any information requested by Scottish Scottish Minister. So why was that information not requested? And given that she now knows what those excessive eye-watering salaries are, how does she expect small producers to sign up for a scheme when they are being so clearly ripped off and part of their fees are being used for the excessive salaries of bosses who are using Scotland as a stepping stone for their wider aim of running deposit return schemes right across the UK? Minister. Um, Circularity Scotland's application to become scheme um, administrator was approved on the 21st of March 2021. Any other organisation can also apply to be scheme administrator, provided that they can meet the requirements as set out in the DRS regulations. The DRS regulations were passed by this Parliament, and CSL was an applicant who met those uh, regulations. Producers and small uh, retailers have been an important part of designing and putting in place the De Scotland's deposit return scheme, and Circularity Scotland has indeed been working very closely with these businesses, including improving cash flow from day one and having the highest return handling fees for manual return points in the world. Fergus Ewing. Brian Officer, what's clear from the failure, once again, of the Minister to answer straightforward questions is this, that Circularity Scotland Limited is a creature entirely, entirely out of control. It's, it's deciding its own policies, it's deciding its own salaries, and it will decimate small businesses throughout Scotland, whether they be shops, pubs, clubs, brewers, distillers, or recycling companies. Can I ask the Minister this? Have you not, on behalf of the Scottish Government, in creating Circularity Scotland Limited, created a monster, a modern-day 21st century Frankenstein entirely out of control. Minister. 
Circularity Scotland has been created by industry to support Scottish businesses to comply with the regulations passed by this Parliament. The approach of an industry-led and industry-paid-for scheme was supported by Scottish Labour and the Conservatives and is the same as schemes around the world. We are not reinventing the wheel here. Scotland's scheme is in line with successful schemes around the world. Stephen Kerr. Minister can't be serious. Yeah. I mean, it's an insult to this parliament that she comes here, asks questions, and then reads a scripted answer, whether it's relevant to the question that's been asked or not. Is she seriously saying that this not-for-profit that she has facilitated the creation of has got nothing to do with her, that they can do what they like? The people of Scotland will have formed their own views on these monstrous salary numbers, and they'll also be forming a view of the incompetence of this minister, who is patently not fit for purpose. Minister. I didn't hear a question in there, um, but the significant progress has been made towards Scotland's deposit return scheme as we work towards our go live date in August of this year. Katie Clark. The Scottish Government have confirmed that Circularity Scotland is to be exempt from the Freedom of Information Act. Does the Minister agree that freedom of information should be extended to cover all providers of public services, including private firms which provide public services, such as Circularity Scotland? Minister. Circularity Scotland is indeed a private company, a private not-for-profit company, and it is not uh, qualify for freedom of information because it is not providing a public service as described, by the, as described by the member. Therefore, as a private company, it is not subject to freedom of information requests. Thank you. And Brian Whittle. Uh, thank you, uh, Presiding Officer. The Minister has been dragged into this chamber week after week because of the secrecy in which is, is shrouded the Scottish Government-led uh, company. It took a leaked document for us to find out the, the, the extraordinary salaries that are getting paid by CSL, because we cannot find anything out about CSL because the Scottish Government won't allow us to FOI them any time they don't want an answer to a question. Lorna Slater has made CSL a private company, so she doesn't have to be held accountable and admit how badly this scheme is being rolled out. It isn't about time you lifted the, the, the secrecy, the shroud of secrecy, and allows pa the Parliament us parliament, we parliamentarians, to actually understand what is really going on with this DRS scheme. Minister. I've, I've said it before, but I'm happy to repeat it over and over again. Scotland's deposit return scheme is being delivered and funded by industry, an approach that was supported by Scottish Labour and the Scottish Conservatives. And that includes the creation of an industry-led scheme administrator. Many of the questions that are being answered in this chamber could be answered by a simple Google, because CSL has an excellent website, and I would encourage members to look at that if they are unsure of who is the membership makeup of CSL and who their board members are. Thank you. Can we um, just resist any temptation to speak over ministers when they are responding?